Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I review new movies and television shows and release a new video every day from Monday to Friday. Today, I want to talk about a new film called Paint. Just as a heads up, I personally dislike this film quite a bit, but I'll try to be as fair to it as possible and just voice my disdain at the end. Britt McAdams wrote and directed this comedic drama about a painter named Carl Nargol, played by Owen Wilson. Carl is the host of a show called Paint on a local television station. He's cool and charismatic, he rocks an afro, and drives a sweet van. On the show, he paints pictures of mountain forest scenes. And off air, he's adored by everyone. When ratings at his station start to take a hit, they ask Carl to do another hour-long show per day, but he refuses for personal reasons, and the station ends up hiring a young artist to take over the slot. Carl's life starts to fall apart as the two shows compete, and the young woman becomes everyone's new favorite TV painter. The story is straightforward and runs along a trope-filled line. We start with an older established character who is at the height of their career. They compete with a new guy and lose, and realize they have more to learn, so they go back to the basics. There's a love interest that comes back for unexplained reasons, and it's filled with jokes about how out of touch he is and how funny it is to see him go from hero to zero. I found the first 30 minutes of the film to be funny, but they end up reusing jokes a lot and I got bored of the humor style pretty fast. They play off the awkwardness of him no longer being top dog and he self-destructs in some extreme ways, but that's about it. The first hour or so of the film is Carl's downward spiral, and the last 30 minutes is a minor redemption arc in which he learns his lesson and makes a comeback. They rush through his redemption and love story, and both end up feeling somewhat shallow and underexplained. After the comedy started to become annoying, the story wasn't worth investing into. I didn't like Carl as a person. He's just a player and a diva who talks softly and repeats affirmations. The film spends so long picking away at him that there's almost nothing left of him by the end, and his only good trait is that he tries to act humble. The other characters beside him aren't interesting either. They're all stereotypical, and only Carl really gets fleshed out with any additional details. We learn enough about him to understand his motivations to a reasonable degree, but we never learn anyone else's. There's a love story in here, and I have no idea why that woman would want anything to do with him. The cast does what they can, and there are some decent laughs to be had, but there aren't any standout performances. The majority of the screen time goes to Owen Wilson's Carl Nargle, who is the brunt of the joke. The film makes quite a few good jokes out of him, and Owen Wilson does his best impression of a guy trying to hold it together. He seems a little too cool for them to actually get under his skin, but he does well with the physical comedy and has decent comedic timing. Outside of Wilson, everyone else appears for short stints to play a stereotypical character. We have a serious love interest, sycophantic co-workers who all turn on him, and the new host who idolizes him but also gets petty when trying to destroy him. There are lots of jokes, but there isn't much else. Visually, the film is shot in a basic drama style, with straightforward editing and angles that do a good job of capturing the comedy and emotions of the story. There's a lot of set work in here laden with easter eggs, and Carl's out-of-date aesthetic was really well done. As far as big moments go, the film has a few of them in the form of cringe comedy and a few visual gags that are executed really well. There's also a scene near the end with a blaze that was kind of exciting. Soundwise, the film uses a mix of background instrumentals and original songs to fill out the space behind the scenery. The songs tend to be light country or pop songs with a few mood setting tracks here and there. They follow the scenery and they're well timed but not all that effective in their use. They tend to come in a little quiet and never fully connect with the moment. Overall, Paint was a shallow retelling of an old trope. They used Bob Ross's likeness to draw in an audience, but the character they made has nothing to do with Bob and is nothing like him in terms of personality. The story they told is a reskinned version of an old trope without the heart at the center of it. The jokes are repetitive, the characters are stereotypes, and the visuals and soundtrack are just okay. Not good enough to make up for the rest. Save yourself some time and watch something else. 5 out of 10. Why they gotta do my boy Bob Ross like that? Aw, oh, shit.